create a lovely soft photo effect on a black and white sketch with the use of color and a masking technique. Hi, this is Karen Schultz from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told. This video is being filmed in Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop, except more noted. I'm using a sketch I created in last week's tutorial, Sketch Effect Part 1. Let's begin in Expert Mode. To follow along exactly, open the sketch I've provided in the download. You may also use a sketch of your own, but if you do, make sure you follow the instructions in Sketch Effect Part 1 tutorial before you begin this tutorial. In the Layers panel, click and drag the color photo to the top of the Layers panel. Set the Blend Mode to Color and lower the opacity if you like. For my sketch, I'm going to leave it at 100%. And that's how easy it is to color a black and white sketch. Now let's prepare our sketch for a scrapbook page. In the Layers panel, right-click, Mac Users Control-click on any layer, and choose Flatten Image. Open the paper I've provided in the download. I already have it open here. Get the Move tool. Click on the colored sketch to activate it and drag it onto the paper document. Save your flattened color sketch as a high quality JPEG with a unique name. For the purposes of this tutorial though, I'm just going to minimize it for now. Press Ctrl T, Mac Users Command T to get the transform options. On the document, click and drag from a corner handle of the bounding box to change the size of your image if you like. If you can't see the bounding box, press Ctrl-0, Mac Users, Command-0. Click and drag inside the bounding box to reposition the photo if you'd like to do that. I'm going to raise mine up just a little bit. Click the check mark to commit once you're happy. Next, we'll add a mask to our sketch. Get the Brush Tool. In the Tool Options, open the Brush Picker. Go to the Default Brushes and choose a Soft Round Brush. Set your size to 400, your opacity to 75. Click on the brush settings. Set the fade, the hue jitter, and the scatter to zero, the spacing to 25, the hardness to zero, and the roundness to 100%. Photoshop users will find the settings in the manual. In the Layers panel, click on the color sketch to confirm that it's active. Next, click on the Add a Layer icon. I'm sorry, add layer mask icon. Black should be your foreground color. If it's not, press the letter X. Click on the layer mask to make sure it's active. On the document, click and drag around the edges of your sketch to mask away any areas that you don't want. On mine, I don't want that black, but I want the opacity for this area to be just a little bit higher, so I'm going to raise that. Go around the edges of your document or your sketch and just make a nice soft edge there. I'm leaving my tool options open because I might want to toggle that opacity or lower or raise the opacity a bit. You can also change the size of your brush by using your right and left bracket keys. The left bracket key will make your brush smaller and the right bracket key will make it a little bit larger. And I like that except for this dark area right here. If you find you have too um, dark of an area, lower your opacity to about 50% and then just click on the area that you find too dark and that will soften that for you. Once you're happy, you're ready to go ahead and use this for a layout. If you make a mistake, like I just brushed over that, click the letter X to change your foreground color to white, and then you can paint that back in. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the letter X to make the foreground color black again. And I think that's fine. I'm ready to go ahead and make a scrapbook page with this. Once you've embellished your scrapbook page, save it as a high quality JPEG with a unique name 
and save your document as a layered PSD file with a unique name. This is the scrapbook page that I created with my colored sketch. If you'd like to learn more about brushes and how they can be used to create complex clipping masks, check out Brushability Making Masks by Cindy Rogers. You'll find a link to this class as well as a coupon code in the manual that accompanies this video. So that's how you create a lovely soft photo effect on a black and white sketch with the use of color and a masking technique. This has been Karen Schultz for Digital Scrapper.